Five years ago, Patrick Stillman opened the studio door in North Park as a place where art and commerce could intersect. But he encountered setbacks and had to close the business. The studio door reopened early last year at its current location in Hillcrest. But then 2020 hit. In March, it was very daunting because everything truly shut down. So we went dark. But I think that as an owner of a business, I was working twice as hard trying to come up with ideas of how to stay relevant. Like all arts organizations, the Studio Door has had to deal with pandemic restrictions that no longer allow for the kind of in-person events that were a mainstay of the arts community. But Stillman is an artist who prides himself on also being a good businessman. When the opportunities came to seek out government assistance, I went in full force. I'm one of the few small businesses that benefited from PPP, disaster loan, and even some local funds from city and county governments. Without those funds, I don't think we would have been able to stay open. But in some ways, especially with the loan from the federal government, I think, man, I've worked so hard to put myself into so much debt. It's been a challenging time for the business, but I think even more so for hardworking artists. Those artists that are professional artists trying to make a living at art are having some really serious times trying to maintain a studio practice, get their art in front of people who are interested in purchasing it. It's been really challenging. But he found a way to keep artists working in their studio spaces. Studio artists are considered light manufacturing, so as long as they keep to their studios, they're allowed to be in the space and continue working. But with businesses closed or working under restrictions, foot traffic has been heavily reduced in Hillcrest, leaving the gallery in a bit of a ghost town. Looking ahead, Stillman is proceeding with his regular January programming, featuring six artists in the main gallery. The challenge now is to come up with ways that we can do that in person, but also online. And so we're doing a lot more artist videos, interviews, actually moving in the direction of the gallery in ways that we hadn't been before. If there's a silver lining, then it's that some of the innovations employed to stay open during the pandemic will prove useful even after the lockdown restrictions subside. Arts organizations like the Studio Door have been able to come up with uh, innovative online programming that we didn't really have the time or didn't feel was as a top priority in the past is now becoming an essential part of how we operate. I'm optimistically looking forward to the new year and I'm gonna do everything I can to keep the doors open, but it's gonna be uh, difficult times ahead. Stillman looks forward to when the gallery can return to being a physical and not merely virtual gathering place for the community. Until then, artists will have to continue to tap into their creativity. Beth Akamondo, KPBS News.